Now I want to visit with Dr. Deborah Braverman. I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but October is National Sudden Cardiac Arrest Awareness Month. How many times have you heard of someone who just, boom, absolutely no reason for it, no no past history of heart problems, and all of a sudden just, bingo, it's all over. Well, let's visit with Dr. Deborah Braverman about that. She's author of Heal Your Heart with EECP. Now, let's find out what in the heck EECP is. Hello, doctor. How are you, ma'am? I'm fine, and how are you? Well, it could not be any better. Dr. Braverman, tell us first, how big a problem is sudden cardiac arrest? Well, it's a major problem. I mean, we have, as we know, coronary artery disease, heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in this country, and uh, oftentimes it's sudden cardiac arrest that leads to this death. In fact, uh, one every 33 seconds in the country uh, wow. uh, is having a heart attack. That's how frequent it is. Not that they're not that they're all having sudden cardiac death, but that's how frequent the heart attacks are. So it's a very very common problem. And uh, unfortunately, many people don't even uh, realize that they have heart disease until it's too late. So one of the major things that uh, we try to do is make sure that the public is aware of the uh, risk factors for heart disease and warning signs for heart disease, and then, of course, all the different treatment options available to them and how they can manage the, the process so that it doesn't get to that point. One uh, one day, not not long ago, uh, a very dear friend who had been on the air in KTSA for years, uh, doing an auto show, uh, and he was one of the sharpest auto people in the whole wide world. Uh, my son called me and said, "Dad, did you know what happened to Gerline?" And I said, "What?" Well, Steve was walking across his shop on the north side and just fell down dead. Boom. And so that does happen. So, let's, uh, doctor, let's talk about this. What, uh, what in the world, and I've never heard of it, what is EECP? EECP, it stands for uh, Enhanced External Counterpulsation, which is basically a treatment for heart disease that is non-invasive, so it doesn't involve any surgery, needles, or drugs. And uh, basically what we're doing is we have patients lay down on a special bed and we wrap up their legs in blood pressure cuffs. We hook them up to an EKG and in time to their own heartbeat, these cuffs squeeze and release the leg muscles, which basically massages the muscles and promotes blood flow from the legs back up towards the heart, stimulating a lot of blood flow in and around the heart, which helps to open up the little arteries and go around the blocked arteries and get blood flow to the heart where it's needed the most. That's the fundamental problem in heart disease, that there's not enough blood getting to the heart because of blockages that develop over time, blockages with you know fat and cholesterol and, and calcium deposits and what have you. So by creating these natural bypasses, going around the blockages and bringing more blood flow to the heart, we're giving the heart all the blood and oxygen and nutrients that it needs, and so so symptoms of angina, of chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, these types of symptoms go away and people become stronger, they have more stamina, uh, and they become uh, much healthier. It's as if they're exercising during ECP, except they're laying on the bed. We're doing the exercise for them, really, and getting that blood to circulate. Well, help me with this. The clinical studies show that uh, this treatment, EECP, reduces the number of emergency room visits and hospitalizations, which in turn reduces uh, the health care cost. And folks, in America, Americans and, and government and companies and all spend about $65 billion a year with a B on treating heart problems. That's a whole lot of cash. Yeah, it certainly is a whole lot of cash, but it's a win-win situation because the patients getting EECP feel better, they are better, and they're uh, back to their active lifestyles, and the insurance company is happy because they've had to spend a whole lot less money taking good care of their patients. Of course, uh, you know, the old saying is, is the same. you got to do the 
do the walking, the exercise, the running or whatever, and, and eat right and do all those things you're supposed to do over and above the EECP treatment. And, of course, there are many of us like me, an asthmatic, man, I can't do a, a whole lot of walking or running. I don't mind telling you that, so I just keep hanging in there hoping for the best. <laughs> well, you know, uh, that's you're not the only one in that situation. I mean, many people have uh, medical conditions that prevent them from doing intense exercise regimens. However, in even... In fact, before you go any further, let me say this. Several years ago, four or five years ago, my doctor decided he won't have me do a stress test. I did a stress test. Damn, there it killed me. And I swear I'll never do another stress test again. I don't mind telling you. Well, you know, what we know is that you don't need to run marathons in order to be healthy per se. Just being as mobile and as active as you can tolerate the more mobile you are, the more your blood is flowing, the healthier your heart is. And EECP is often used as a kickstart to try to get people who are limited because of breathing and for heart symptoms. They're limited. They can't exercise. And EECP helps get them feeling well enough that they can then start exercising without those kinds of symptoms. So, yes, they need to keep it going by staying active. Uh, on their own, but ECP is a great jump start. Well, let me let me ask you this, Doctor. For folks, that, uh, as you know, our show is designed for folks 40 plus, and many of our listeners are in their 70s, 80s, and what have you. And I know there are a lot of them who are like me who uh, can't go out and walk four miles a day or, or run two miles a day or anything like that. And what I do, I do what I can do, and when it looks like I'm going to start getting short of breath or having a problem, I quit doing whatever I'm doing. Well, that's that's just the thing. You know, you know your body better than anybody else, and so you have to listen to your body. And when you start feeling uh, symptoms that are going to limit you, you know, be smart about it and slow down. You don't have to walk four miles a day. As I said, just being more active. We know even if you break it down and walk for 10 minutes and do that a number of times a day, you're going to get tremendous benefits in terms of longevity and health and, and wellness, not just physical but also psychological and emotional because we feel better. Better when we are able to move around and when we're independent and we can take care of ourselves. You bet. And that, you bet. You know, that, that's absolutely something that my ECP patients often talk about. It's the idea that this treatment helps them to feel well enough so that they can do the things that they really want to do. Just, you know, go shopping, uh, play with their grandchildren, do the laundry, run up and down the stairs once a day if they have to or whatever, but just feeling more independent and more like their old self again. Doctor, I, I said at the beginning of my visit with you, and I appreciate your being here on this Sunday evening, by the way, uh, I had never heard of EECP. How widespread is this treatment? I'm assuming it's available in San Antonio? Uh, I believe so. I'm not 100% sure exactly in San Antonio, but I believe so. It, it, it's practiced at over 600 facilities around the United States at some of the, the leading medical centers, Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic, Johns Hopkins, places all over, uh, you can find EECP. It's not often talked about, but it's there, and sometimes uh, we have to look for it in order to find it. You know, usually the doctors are more inclined uh, and more used to doing the invasive techniques of stents and hmm. surgeries and this kind of thing, uh, but this is a non-invasive, non-surgical way to treat the same disease, to treat heart disease without having to cut or without having to give drugs. And so that's something very attractive to patients. And uh, if you look for it, you can definitely find it. Okay. Uh, your website is eecp.com. That's simple enough. E, uh, elbow, E, elbow, Charlie Paul, eecp.com. If folks uh, go to that website, I'm sure they can get a lot more information. Absolutely. Very good. And don't forget the doctor's book, Heal Your Heart. With EECP, and doctor, I guess that's available in all the <coughs> big box stores and what have you? Absolutely. It's available uh, at Amazon, and it's also available through your local library. Very good. Dr. De uh, Deborah Braverman, thank you, doctor. I appreciate your time on a Sunday night. Thank you so much. All right, darling. Bye-bye.